as a refuge, um, not just a center, but a home, a home for people who have had to leave their home of origin. Water is a unique organization because it works at the local level with local pastors and local women um, that are interested in in building community and understanding feminism more and understanding themselves more, but it also works nationally and internationally in ways that have a lot of integrity because it tries to understand what women's experiences are in their own cultural context. A big part of water to me is how they're able to share their ideas and their care and pass on everything to the next generation. Ever? Yep. Okay. okay. We try to be literally what our name says, an alliance that is a coming together of women and men, feminists, womanists, mujeristas, and others, who see the role of theology, ethics, and ritual as integral to the work of social change. And we want religions, all of them, whether it be pagan or Jewish or Christian uh, or another form of Buddhism, Hinduism, we want those religions to have the renewable moral energy that belongs to them. So some of the programs that we engage in are teleconferences that bring together audiences with speakers and writers who are shaping the ways of religion to bring about social change. We have a meditation program once a month that brings people together to really attend to that interior resource. We provide liturgies and rituals and counseling. We also have an internship and visiting scholar program so that people can come here, especially during the summer or as year-long interns through volunteer programs to train themselves both in the content of what we do and the dynamics of a small social change organization. Water is a place for women who are interested in spiritual connections, women who are of faith and interested in a place where their progressive faith can make sense, women who are academics, women who are students, marginalized people who feel that there just isn't a home anywhere else. Water works with all of the marginalized, all those who are pushed to the edges, because we know what it's like to be pushed to the edges. Water started in 1983. At that point, Mary Hunt, the other co-director, and I had no idea that we would still be in existence today. Clearly, there is a need. And I think the need that I keep hearing is Let's listen to women's voices around the issues of theology, ethics, and ritual. I got to connected to water through my wife, Carol. You know, she's bringing home various and sundry books, uh, like from Rosemary Radford Rutha and uh, Schistler Forenza. And uh, so, yeah, and she'd be urging me to read them. And I started reading them, and, uh, you know, there was, these things made a lot more sense about the world that's really out there than the stuff that was being preached in by the, by the local preacher. So, uh, you know, that was a change to me, right? to, to have a different perspective from the standpoint of what religion's all about with respect to attitude, not only toward women, but the people as a whole. And then, when Carol passed away in 2011, I started to feel that come, I'm like a surrogate. That I, let me see what I can do to help for wet water on, on her behalf. You have women who are ordained or not ordained, but still dealing with church as a sexist institution. Um, how, do, how do we survive and thrive in institutions like that? Um, and make them places of healing and wholeness and transformation for the people who choose to come. I think something that's very important um, in feminist thinking as well as ethnic studies thinking, because I, I, I work at the intersection of those two things, um, you have to do praxis. You have to engage in the community that you're talking about, talking with, you know, all those things. Um, and this is a place where networking happens across lines, um, lines of religious difference, gender difference, 
um, you know, all those kinds of things that would normally be divisive. The water is an important place that um, helps women understand themselves more fully, gives them tools for um, making their way in the, in the uh, patriarchal structures, gives them tools for dismantling the patriarchal structures, and um, gives women a, a, a wholeness and a fullness and readiness for when there is space in the structures for women as well as creating new structures for women instead of saying we're going to dismantle this one. just on, on same-sex marriage, but also on anti-racism work, who have been engaged in fair housing, in affordable care, all those decisions that came out last week, and uh, particularly the, the, the President's uh, eulogy that I think so many people with water connections can resonate with and take to heart as we um, move the agenda forward. Hear, hear.